What was your first reaction when you found out you were coming to the Toronto Maple Leafs? Uh, I was surprised. Uh, I was just hanging out with my buddies and all of a sudden I get a call from my agent and you know he was telling me what was happening and that there's a possible trade going on right now and you know I, I know that it's hockey, it's the NHL, it's a business and that's what it is and I'm really excited to be here right now and uh, let's see what happens. You grew up in North America, what, what do you know about the Toronto Maple Leaf organization? It's one of the greatest organizations in the NHL, that, that's pretty much all I know. I, I've never been a big fan, you know, always kind of uh, supporting my dad in Carolina and Philadelphia and all those uh, Eastern teams, but you know, now watching Toronto, I mean, they've been uh, struggling a little bit, but just the franchise, and it's been around for such a long time. It's, it's actually amazing to be kind of around these guys and being in the uh, organization right now. I'm really excited. Your dad was as tough a customer as there was. Do you remember, or remember seeing visual of that hit he took from Darcy Tucker back in 2003, I guess it was? I've seen it once, and I never wanted to watch it again. It's, uh, it's not fun seeing your dad in that condition, but you know, uh, I'm really proud of him for getting up and skating to the bench because I think Jeremy Roenick scored the game-winning goal after that 15 seconds later. So um, I'm really proud of him, and uh, you know, it was, a, if it, it was a tough spot for me to see him come home and you know, not be in the best shape of uh, his life and obviously being mad at Darcy a little bit in the Maple Leafs, but that's, that's history, that's the past. And, uh, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm just excited to be here, and, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that my dad's okay right now. Like William Nylander, both of you kids grew up in North America, but you've got the benefit of, of playing hockey on both sides of the Atlantic. Do you look at that as, as an advantage as you get a chance to eventually come here to play in a full-time role? I don't think hockey-wise it, it gives me that much of an advantage. I mean, we were so young still, and, you know, the hockey was, it was just hockey. There wasn't really any tactics. and stuff like that but just speaking the language and knowing the culture a little bit and you know it's it's not as big as a shock to me and probably Willie than to other kids that haven't been to America that much so uh, I think that's one thing that you know we're uh, really uh, privileged to, to have and lived here for such a long time and it's uh, really nice to be around here in Canada I haven't been here too many times so uh, it looks nice. Do you have an idea of what Leaf Nation is, what the fan support is all about? Not at all, but I'm uh, really excited to find out. How uh, do you see this group coming together, 54 different individuals getting a chance to go to Collingwood? Uh, do you see an opportunity here to, uh, to establish some building blocks? Obviously, and it's still, even though it's development camp, but we're still kind of trying to sh show the management what we can do. It's always a race, kind of, and uh, now everybody's going to give it their all obviously during this week and everybody's really excited to be here and you know I'm just getting to know the guys a little bit more because you know it's kind of a lot to take in coming in yesterday around five and now skating out with the boys over there so uh, it's different but I've uh, really enjoyed this day that we've had over here in the uh, MasterCard Arena and uh, I'm excited for uh, the future. Are you ready to go with the expectations that that are on you and a few other players in this organization as it continues to grow and rebuild? I am. I don't, I don't think there's too much pressure uh, at the end of the day. I mean, I'm here to play hockey and I know that they're going to give me a good chance when I give it my all. I give 110% and that's what I'm going to try to do and show everybody that who I am and what I can do. And obviously having a couple familiar faces like Willie over here, it always helps and hopefully get to play with him a little bit and see, uh, see how that is. But I'm just excited to be here and just to show everybody what I can do and uh, let's see what happens. Any less pressure knowing the organization is going to take its time with all of you people and not make sure that you're rushed into the NHL? I, I guess so, but still, you still want to be the best and you know you, you want to show everybody, you want to show uh, the management and the coaches and all the other players what you can do and obviously kind of show that, you know, I, I'm here, I'm, I'm here to take a spot, I'm going to try to do everything I can to get it, but at the same time, I'm just here to enjoy the opportunity. And, you know, Toronto, it's probably number one uh, hockey town in all of America, so, and North America, I'm sorry. So uh, I'm really excited.